Let me tell you about the time I fell for the marketing. One night, after scrolling through garden forums, I came across a flashy ad, Revive Dead Soil in 7 Days. The product? A concentrated soil activator packed with microbes, enzymes, humic acid, and well, some pretty big promises. I'd been struggling with a patch of compacted, lifeless soil in one of my side beds. Nothing would take, not even mustard greens. So I bought it. Before I share what happened, I want to hear your take. Have you ever used a store-bought soil activator? Did it help your garden? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to compare notes. Let's walk through what this product did, what it didn't do, and whether it actually made my soil healthier, or if it just made my wallet lighter. What exactly is a soil activator? Soil activators are usually marketed as biological soil boosters. The one I bought claimed to contain billions of dormant bacteria, enzymes to break down organic matter, humic and fulvic acids for nutrient availability, and even amino acids to stimulate root growth. Basically, it's a microbial cocktail designed to jumpstart soil life, particularly in areas where organic matter is low and biology is near zero. Unlike compost or manure, these come in a bottle, some liquid, some granular, and are meant to be applied like a tonic. They're popular in regenerative farming circles, but do they work in real backyard soil? That's what I wanted to find out. The testing zone compacted and tired soil. I chose a patch of raised bed that had given me trouble all season. Despite composting and mulching, the soil stayed crusty and dry. Carrot roots forked instead of pushing deep. Water ran off instead of soaking in. Even after a shovel full of compost, the microbial life seemed dormant. No worms, no fungal threads, no smell. I applied the soil activator exactly as instructed, diluted in water, drenched deeply, and followed up with a light mulch of straw. I left a second patch untreated using only water so I could track any difference. This wasn't a lab test, but it was field real. I wanted to see what gardeners like you and I could expect. What happened after three days? Well, nothing visible changed. The soil surface still looked dry, the mulch was holding moisture but I didn't notice any shift in texture or smell. That was expected, microbial activation isn't instant. But I dug down a few inches and noticed something subtle, a slight earthy scent. It wasn't much but it hinted that some biology might be waking up. So I watered again on day 4 just with plain water. No new seeds were sown, just observation at this point. That was really key, I wanted to see what changed beneath the surface before introducing more variables. By day 7, I started to see the first signs of life. This is when things got interesting. The soil under the mulch had darkened and it actually held water better. But more importantly, when I dug a small hole to check the structure, I found two earthworms in a patch that had been empty for weeks. That's not exactly proof of miracles, but it was definitely a real change. The soil clung together more, smelled fresher, and didn't collapse like dry dust when I handled it. I also noticed that nearby weeds, previously yellowed and stressed, had perked up, their roots had begun to explore deeper layers and their color had deepened. Something had shifted. What made it work? The key ingredient here wasn't magic, it was microbial stimulation. The product didn't add nutrients directly, it unlocked what was already present. The humic acids helped chelate minerals stuck in the soil matrix. The dormant microbes once rehydrated started breaking down the organic matter I had already added months before. This is what many gardeners miss. Soil activators work best when paired with compost, mulch, or organic waste. They don't replace real soil amendments. Instead, they energize them. When I used the same product on bare soil with no organic base, the results were less dramatic. The biology had nothing to eat so it didn't bloom. But on compost-rich soil that had gone dormant, it was like striking a match. Two weeks in real results, by the two-week mark root activity had exploded. I planted a quick radish test row in the treated and untreated zones. In the activated patch, the seedlings emerged faster, had deeper root hairs, and showed early branching by day 10. 
The untreated row looked fine, but not as vigorous. Worm activity also increased. I found castings near the soil surface which had been absent for over a month, and water absorption improved drastically, no more pooling or runoff. That dry, compacted patch had become a sponge, all from one application and a bit of patience. Was it worth it? Here's my final verdict. So, is a soil activator worth the money? If used correctly, yes, but only as part of a broader soil building system. Don't expect miracles if you're adding it to sterile, dry dirt without compost, mulch, or water. Think of it as a catalyst, not the engine. It won't build your soil for you, but it can absolutely speed up the process. Would I buy it again? For tired beds that need a jumpstart? Yes especially early in the season when microbial populations are just waking up. But I wouldn't use it as a standalone fix. Pair it with living compost, keep the soil moist, and you'll see results that make sense. If this breakdown helped you decide whether soil activators are worth trying, do me a favor, subscribe to Hydrohaven, share this with a fellow gardener, and come back for more hands-on tests, real results, and honest soil solutions. We're here to rebuild the ground from the biology up.